In this session, we introduce how to set up the Wi-Fi connection for the BDG gateway using a mobile device. It can be an iPhone or iPad or Android-based mobile device or any other smart devices. Uh, here I will just use the iPhone as a demo. First one on the iPhone, you click on setting and then on the general and about. You need to set up the name for the device. Here the name should be like MI installer. Please pay attention to the uh, case of the letters because this one is case sensitive. And then you go back to the setting and go to a place called personal hotspot. Again, on the personal hotspot, you need to set up the password is my-gateway. These two things have to be fixed. And then if you go to the mobile device, uh, you now if you go to the gateway, and if you, uh, let's see, you can see it here. If you turn down the, uh, if you plug in the first one, you need the Wi-Fi dongle here, and also click on the setting and Ethernet, you're gonna see here. The, now the default button is the green one, it's a link to button and the WPS, and you click on the, the green button, it becomes blue. And now the gateway is trying to connect the mobile device using the hotspot connection. Now we can come back here, you will see. Just wait for like uh, one minute or something, and these two uh, devices will be linked together. And you will see uh, a, a blue uh, blue line here to tell you this gateway found the device. Let's just wait for one minute. Okay, now it's connected. And now uh, on the gateway, here's what you're gonna see on the gateway. Um, see here, it has uh, this blue one and also you click on OK. You will see, you don't need to reboot it. You will see there's a there's an IP address here. Here is 172.20.10.11. That is IP address uh, on this gateway. Now you can go back to the mobile and then you open up a, Okay, I already opened it here, and actually the address is uh, the IP address slash Wi-Fi, and then you just click on go, and then the password is gateway. Go, and here is the screen you're gonna see. First one, you need to on this screen, there are several fields you need to configure, but the most critical one, just two places. One is the network name, it's called SSID. That is basically the, the home network's name. And you can use here, uh, here my home network is home. Oh, it's case sensitive, it's all small letters, H-O-M, home. Your router. For your case, you just fill in your home network's name. And also this field is a password. Eight. And for the other two fields, one is the encryption, the security type, you don't need to change. And also DHCP is most commonly used, so you don't need to change. After you put in the network's name and password, you just save it. Okay. Okay, now, it's already saved. We can go back to here, to the uh, to the gateway, and you go back to that setting and Ethernet. Now you click it again. Basically, it will disconnect the it will disconnect the uh, the gateway to the mobile, and then the gateway will try to uh, search for the home network. Let's see what's gonna. You don't need to again you don't this is just a typical warning you don't need to reboot it just cancel let's wait for again wait for like one or two minutes you will see an IP address here and this uh, this is a signal strength bar okay now you see this IP address You'll notice this IP address is different from the earlier one because this IP address is the one assigned by a home router. Now it means that now the gateway is connected to the internet. And you can double check on that one. Again, go to the setting, 
and you can see here the network name is your home network's name and you can see here that's a network test you can do a test on the on the see here it will test if the gateway is connected to the internet its result is good means the gateway has been configured correctly and you have been connected to the internet again this setting uh, can be done on Wi-Fi uh, can be done on iPhone or iPad or any other devices because all the web page and the, uh, the programs were made by a crossing uh, by a crossing platform technology so it will work on all the devices